Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features a complete review guide of the brand new Italian destroyer at tier 6, Leone. Leone becomes the second Italian destroyer entering World of Warships following the Paolo Emilio, but is more of a conventional destroyer, not having the semi armor piercing and exhaust smoke generator of its higher tier compatriot. Don't let that reflect poorly on the Leone, however, because she brings her own set of strengths and I was really quite pleasantly surprised at how Leone performed over the course of testing. Leone is now in her finished final state and the gameplay used in this video reflects her exact state as it appears on the live server. Leon will be available in the Armory for 5,300 doubloons and in the Premium Store. If this video is well received, I'll give away to one lucky winner a free Leon courtesy of Wargaming. So please hit that like button. It really helps out the channel a lot. And to enter this giveaway, leave your in-game name and the server you play on in the comments section below in the format you see here on screen. Before jumping into the full review of the ship stats and characteristics, let me put up on screen the complete build I've been refining during the testing process. The Leona is a premium ship, so ideal for the Luigi Sansonetti captain, if you have him, but it's not a prerequisite. I've marked the training order in red to hopefully help you out in your skill choices if training a new captain from scratch. Leon is for all intensive purposes a hybrid destroyer, having both very good guns and very long range fast reloading torpedoes. Simply stated, the best of both worlds. Let's start first with the armor layout. Being a tier six destroyer, it's very lightly armoured, but there is nothing unusual in this as it's pretty standard for all same tier DDs of this class. Just a quick screenshot here using the port armour view tells us its complete hull and deck is covered in 16mm of armour, while its very small superstructure gets 10mm. One can already tell Leona's small profile sitting low in the water is to her great benefit, making her difficult to hit effectively, especially when manoeuvring correctly. And without overstating the obvious, being able to avoid incoming fire is key to her survivability. Leona gets a total of 15,800 hit points, and that includes the skill survivability expert which I still highly recommend. Combined with great long lasting 30 second action time and almost two minute duration smokescreen dispersion time, Leon can be a tricky customer to deal with. Leona's signature strength lies in her main armament. Leon gets more main battery guns than any other tier six destroyer. Eight 120mm guns in total, in four dual mounted turrets, one fore and one aft, with two centrally mounted. These turrets have a 180 degree turning time of 22.5 seconds, a reload time of 9 seconds, and a max firing range of 12.1 kilometers, with a max dispersion at this range of 106 meters. Leon is capable of firing both high explosive and armor piercing rounds with uniform shell ballistics of a quite fast 850 meters per second for both shell types. Leona's armor piercing rounds can inflict a max damage of 2100, but I did find you have to be quite close and faced with relatively that broadsides for them to be effective. Leona's high explosive rounds 
are capable of penetrating 20 millimeters of armor and can inflict a max damage of 1700 with a 6% chance of setting the target on fire. This however can be increased to 7% when mounting both the India X-ray and Victor Lima signal flags and again further to 8% should you choose the captain skill pyrotechnician instead of fast fish. But I'll explain my reasoning for this when I cover its torpedoes, which I consider its second great strength, making Leon a really good hybrid destroyer in my opinion. Leon gets two X2 torpedo launchers, both centrally mounted, which can be used on either side. These torpedoes have a max firing range of a whopping 12 kilometers. At tier 6, this puts the competition to absolute shame. The closest anything can come to this range is the Hatsuharu at 10 kilometers. But the vast majority of same tier destroyers, for a comparison, have a max range of 8 kilometers, or in a lot of cases, much less. These launchers have decent firing angles, with fast rotation speeds of only 6 seconds, and reload in a very fast 60 seconds. Basically, one can put 4 long range torpedoes into the water every minute that can inflict a max damage of 13,367. They have a torpedo speed of 57 knots, and this is why I prefer the captain skill Fast Fish, and a very low torpedo detectability range of just one kilometer, making them quite difficult to avoid if aimed correctly at your target. This combination of huge range, very low detectability and decent damage make these torpedoes surprisingly effective and have the huge added advantage of allowing you to stay out of nasty radar range and still remain effective when you get up tiered and forced to engage tier 8 ships, which will happen more often than not. It's not all sunshine and rainbows, however, when it comes to AA defense, but I jest, of course, trying to fend off air attack at these tiers is very difficult for any destroyer, and Leon is no exception. With just an AA rating of 7, you get the picture already. Leona has 6 AA guns in total, ranging from 13 millimeters to 40 millimeters, with an average continuous damage of just 63, and no flak explosions, and just a max firing range of 2.5 kilometers. For all intensive purposes, you can keep it turned on, and imagine angry sailors shaking their fists and shouting expletives at the incoming planes. These AA guns, as stated, have a max firing range of 2.5 kilometers, which is less than your detectability range from the air, so there's no benefit in turning it off trying to remain undetected. You may as well have the ship's chef firing his starter pistol as not. Your best bet to avoid incoming air attack is using the combination of low air detectability with very good mobility. Leona's base speed is 34 knots, increased to 35.7 knots with the Sierra Mike signal flag and further boosted to 38.5 knots in straight line speed with the speed boost active. Combined with a turning circle of 620 meters and a rudder shift time of 3.4 seconds, it gives Leon the tools to relocate quickly and maneuver hard when under heavy fire. Finally, stats wise, we come to the Leon's concealment rating of 89, which equates to a detectability range 
of 6.3 kilometers for enemy surface ships and as already stated a 2.7 detectability range from the air by aircraft all in all leon is a very strong combination of high alpha strike main battery guns and quite effective long range stealthy torpedoes with long lasting smokes i must admit to have had a lot of fun playing her so far and i highly recommend her for low to mid tier destroyer players if leona is anything to go by it really bodes well for a future line of italian destroyers in the game i would advise however Despite all these strengths, like any other low tier destroyer, don't get carried away by thinking you can simply take on higher tier ships and charge in recklessly. Play the long game and be defensive when need be, and Leon can perform very well indeed. I hope this video was able to provide you some useful information on the upcoming tier 6 premium Italian destroyer, Leon. And again, if you would like to enter the free giveaway, don't forget to hit that like button and leave your in-game name and the server you play on in the comment section below. I have free ship giveaways on here on a regular basis, thanks to Wargaming. So make sure to hit that bell icon to enable notifications so you don't miss out on new future videos and giveaways. I stream on Twitch regularly, so if you'd like to come on over for some chilled out gameplay and some laughs, you are more than welcome and I look forward to your company. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.